Are you sensitive? <laughs> Master, let us show these no! amateurs the price no, they Roland, pay. No, Roland, no! Oh my god, I forgot! I forgot I told Mizora I'd sleep with her! <laughs> hey internet, it's Jessica, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. In the last episode, it was a live stream, so if you guys happen to miss it, remember to check the link in the description to find the playlist. That is where you can find all the live streams that I've done for Baldur's Gate and the regular episodes that I record. So, we actually went around and explored a little bit of Baldur's Gate, and I ran into Marina, the girl who was trying to revive her dead husband way back when in Act 1. And it seems like Auntie Ethel, the hag, is still around and she is taking more children in Baldur's Gate. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to fight her because I found her lair, but I didn't want to touch anything because we still have to save the kid too. So it's gonna be a mess. I'm gonna be jumping through different missions because again, there's so much to do in Baldur's Gate. So please excuse me if I put a pin on Auntie Ethel for a little bit and we check with the other stuff because like, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> okay, so another thing I want to look into is remember that dumb idiot who tried to kill the refugees, the kids, by b giving fake toys of, like fireworks in them? Oh god. Damn, how many times is this going to happen during this playthrough? Not to mention the parchment quality of the Gazette. Ugh, awful. Okay, so this is the place where we have to be at. For Logan's fireworks. <laughs> Once it's lit, you commit. Keep calm, Karlak. One bad flare, and you could blow this whole place. Whizbangs. Oh, Whizbangs! <laughs> She's so cute. I love her. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, this is cool. So this is like a fireworks place, huh? But yeah, this is where this guy was getting his stuff. Karlak and explosives. Faces, hands, and eyebrows. How do we protect them? Watch for wind direction. Put on your gloves. And a light at arm's length. Very good. And what does Uncle Philogear always say? Once it's lit, you commit. Excellent. Now remember, so this is the guy. accepts no liability for singed nails, toasted eyelashes, loss of limbs, scalded torsos, or blown off heads. Now, you there. What can I do for you? Yeah, I have a question about you your thing. Too familiar square <gasps> recesses of your mind. He has a tattoo. No wonder he's uh -huh. been doing this. A fellow friend of Gortash. Praise the absolute. I have a special sample available just for you, if you wish. Oh my God. Okay, let me recall the merchant's password. Aha! Uh -huh. You must be Arthur's friend. Keep your voice down. Okay. Yes, yes. He's just upstairs. But only one flight. If you get to the top, you've gone too far. Browse as irresponsibly as you like. Just don't tell the other customers. I'm going up more flights of stairs if I have to, sir. Okay, so we got a bodyguard up here, right? Ooh, there's a ooh, there's a hatch too. I'm gonna check that out later. Wait, do I go through here? Hello? Head on up. Your uncle is waiting for you upstairs. I think all these people have um, tadpoles in their head, right? Because it kind of looks like it. Okay. Oh, shoot. Is this the uncle? You're the uncle. I don't know who's the uncle. That Somebody around ask. here. Another friend of Felagir? All right. Just remember the top floor's off limits. Password or not. Um, Looking to buy a little something extra then. What's upstairs? That could not be less of your business. Oh, I'm gonna find out. You you intrigued me. Okay, what do you have Smoke then? Smoke powder in its earthier forms. For purists only. Oh, we could get the- I mean, this is not a bad idea to get because... If you think about it, we could use it in battle, especially against Gortash and stuff, you know? Don't jostle any of the merchandise on your way out. Can't afford a failure on a critical pipe. Uh, not critical, just a bastard. Oh, there's the stairs right there. Oh, okay. 
I do want to know if we can't... How do we get in here without them? Employees only, Pastia. If you're expecting any package... I don't want to start a fight. That's the thing. We do need to get upstairs. Right, That's so how we do it. Rest. The humble home of Frank Pear Tree. Okay, well, the, whoever's in here, you're in, in danger. Hey, a soul coin! Take that. Here we go. Maybe not. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, sh he's dead. Oh, and then the absolute symbol oh no what happened you've been picked where you sh uh, you've been picking where you shouldn't pure tree placing the lordling fire splits through the city disgusting they are no blood there's no they leave no blood there's no art to it at all just burnt ash and corpse cinder I walk through your basement as i pen this it's rather large roomy there's they never find all the bits of you if i spread them here properly the heck chess key is it chess key for what where Where's the chess key? Tempers are rising. Sir, do I have to I do I have to knock his ass out? Oh, was a wait. delightfully secluded alley. I would have been in my element here once. You but what that? You sort with a better class of people now, right? A different class of person and a different type of consorting. Okay. <laughs> Let's just stop this conversation right here, shall we? <laughs> what the hell is there? Who are these people? Shouldn't go wandering in dark alleys. Very dangerous hobby. Gets people killed. Why? Your Farling's friend. Who? She said to let you in. Funny little gnome she is. Is this a... Always the guild? Even when I don't joke. Come, I'll let you in. My pleasure. Uh, okay. In you go. Oh, whoa, oh. Before I change my mind. Oh, 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 okay. What is happening in this place? Should we go in here? Listen, I don't know what's happening now. The fabled haunt of Nine Fingers Keep. Never visited before. I thought you got around. Whoa. I always steer clear. If guild members started disappearing, people would start asking questions. Yeah, and Kazuda would not like it. Yeah. Understandable. Question. When the answer is invariably the silver haired one ate the guild <gasps> Mole! You? Yes. But I think it's. Wow, been... look who it is! Mole, you're Glad alive! You Hope you found plenty of coin in Ketwick's coffers. Oh my Ready god, thank god, business? Kate. I was so worried. Good to see you again. What are you up to this time? Oh, I've got a few ideas. I'll be running this whole place in no time. Honestly, I believe it. She's a really smart kid. Oh, thank God, you're alive. Ready to do some business? How did you escape Moonrise? I survived the hells when Elturel fell. Compared to that, slipping out of Moonrise was child's play. Is this a guild's business you're running here? Sure is. We work for Fetcher, handling what you might call pre-owned goods. Talk to Sticky. He'll cut you a deal. Fetcher isn't himself, so... <laughs> so it's like I'm she's doing the shop. same thing like she was but earlier I'll with the you. other tiefling kids. Okay, maybe a bit of both. Show me what you got. Let's see, kid. Ooh, hello. Stealthy. While hiding, the number you need to roll critical hit while attacking reduced by one. Oh, that's interesting. All right, at least we know where the, the guild is now, so that's good. Let me back in. Hey, I know you! Here, you Haven't I seen this guy before? You tell the Roachin I went for his God's damn night song, and now he has to pay up. What are you looking at? You? Yelling? It's you. You went looking for the night song after me. Please tell me you found it. Ooh, I don't know if I should tell them. Who are you trying to get inside? The Roachin. The wizard who set out the contract. He owns this place. And his little page boy inside knows how to get to him. Laroakin said it'd be easy money. Laroakin is the one that Roland was talking him, about, right? That wizard he was training gold. under? Turns out his little relic was in a temple of Shah. Beneath an army of goblins. Would never have taken my people in if I'd known. I can't bring them back. But I can make Laroakin cough up. 
Especially if you found the relic. Ooh, should I tell him? Um, okay. Well, I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm sorry about your friends. Legitimately, I am. But I don't know if I should tell him about this. Because I do want to protect them, you know? Sorry, I didn't find anything. Hope you lost fewer I'm glad they approved, because... Bloody goblins. Lerokin should have warned us. She's out there. I'm gonna find her. You mark my words. Oh god, sorry. I hope I don't see you at my camp. Uh, oh, let me uh, let me examine this. this. Should be so interesting. This armor is a construct. You think Roland will be here? Powerful magic. It has no soul or power of speech, but it follows the directives of its master. It feels no pain and knows no morality. Hmm. It will act on behalf of its It's master, just there. It's not a it's not a living being, obviously. Is severed. Okay. I'm not gonna say anything because it's not gonna respond regardless of it. Oh <gasps> Roland! Roland is here! Roland! How can I help you? Is he okay? You look familiar. Were you in the Druid's Grove? Perhaps. I stopped by many huts and hamlets on my way here. Master Leroican invited me to be his apprentice. I've heard rumors about Leroican's teaching, or lack of it. The I don't... Students are no more than glorified shopkeeps. Oh no, Roland had no you idea. You must be here to shop. I am Sanji's... He looks like he's hypnotized. Holmes. Or are you perhaps another adventurer with information on the night song? I have to ask, what happened to your face? And where's his sister? Nothing for you to worry about. Wait. Who has better insight? Gail, you want to you want to give this a shot? Maybe you're smarter. His voice catches. Something's wrong. I knew it cuz he's smarter. <laughs> Do many people ask about the night song? It's all I deal with these days. People claiming their trinkets are the real night song. Looking for the mountain of gold the rower can promise. There's even a pamphlet. Take one. They're on the desk. Okay. Uh, I'm just here to shop. Huh. I suppose that at least I can help with. Okay, I'm not gonna- I don't, I don't wanna- ooh, damn! Uh, yeah, there's definitely something wrong, because Roland, you know, even though he was kind of an ass, I do like him. And he was so excited to work with Leroican, and like Gale said, he said that back in Act 1, that there was vicious rumors about this guy. What the f***? Why is there a dead person down here? I can tell you're a discerning customer. You're after nothing but the best. And luckily for you, Okay, because, exactly you know, I'd like to think my character has been into a lot of places, but she's never been to Larokin's place. You know why her parents forbade her to go there? Because like Gail, she's heard of vicious rumors of this guy too, and he's dangerous. Literature department. Can I help you? Girl, why are you whispering? Why are you whispering? Psst. These books are sensitive. Okay. They prefer an environment of quiet <laughs> reverence. <laughs> what happens if I yell? I'm just gonna see. Is that true, books? Are you sensitive? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you've done. Give my ear for the least bit of respect. Oh my God! To the word. Go act the clown on your own time. Come back when you've cobbled together some manners and are prepared to pay for the damages. <laughs> oh my God! All right, let's be real this time because we do need to find things about the crown. I'm trying to find out about a particular Netherese crown. Have you anything on that subject? Huh. Bold. You might have heard that our library has a collection other shops would lack the skill to curate. Between us, mm -hmm. even Master Leverokin was reluctant to house them in his tower. The pen 
is mightier than the magic wand, apparently. <laughs> they're locked away here for their and our customers' safety. Oh. Our finest reserve includes the Tharkia Codex, the Annals of Carsis and Netherese Folly, uh -huh. Sites of the Sealy, and the Curriculum of Strategy. Do any of those interest you? The Annalise of Carsis, the Netherese Folly. It is said to be written by Lord Carsis himself. The Netherese Arcanist, who attempted to replace the goddess Mistra, failed. Ooh. And was <laughs> banished for the attempt. Great magical knowledge lies within those pages, but not many can withstand it. That's it. That's what I need. Okay, okay, we'll get it, Gail. Don't worry. The annals of Carsus would no doubt have much to say about the crown's true nature. If only you could read them. I'm gonna try, though. Sounds perfect. How much to buy it from you? Buy? Books as temperamental as these are not on sale. They are secured in our vault. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. They're not going to sell them. Nor can they do any harm. Consider yourself lucky to have learned of such a book's existence, and then forget about it. The annals of Carsus are best left unread. Yeah, we're gonna have to sneak in here or something. Okay, well, ooh, I can dis- Ooh, hello! Isn't it your job to share knowledge, not to keep it locked away? At least tell me where the vault is. <laughs> Shadow Heart, need your help? Customers like you are why I prefer the company of books. The only way to gain access to the vault is through my office. And before you ask, no, you are not allowed in there either. Okay, her office. Good to know. Thank you. I have learned more than enough. <laughs> you certainly have. Even simple knowledge of these tones is enough to stimulate most. So, where's your- Ah! Welcome, dear patron, to the floor at the oh, top you're... of the stairs. You're the if you mage I'm looking for, too. The night song, great riches await. If you are here to waste the great wizard Laroican's time, reconsider. This guy looks like a jackass. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. Ah! Portal? Portal. What the heck? Wow, there's more than one portal. Which one do we go to? Okay, let me see what we're what we're looking at. The night song is an immortal being, the child of a deity. The night song is a priceless ruby from a realm beyond our own. What what do I pick here? The night song is an ancient potion that allows its drinker to become irresistibly attractive. <laughs> Wait, is it like a quiz? If I get it wrong, they'll kick us out? The night song is a druidic staff that allows its bearer command. Oh, this is definitely a test. It's beats. this one. This one over here. Okay, well, screw it. We might as well deal with this now. Oh, sh we're just teleporting right to the guy. Uh, Craig's aim is much improved, but uh, dude, still what? Something up to chance. Yes, sir. All right, crank. Ready? Aim. Oh. Mm. We have a visitor. That is. McClaw, you may go. I just saved this guy's ass. <laughs> hmm. Uh, <laughs> I see no night song. Uh, surely you wouldn't have entered my tower without the night song in hand. Surely you wouldn't have wasted my time. Now, I have a lot of questions for you, sir. You must be the wizard Laroican. And you must have an answer to my request. Yeah, this guy's a dick. If you want to keep your head, of course. 
<laughs> the night song. Do you have it or not? What do you want with her? She? Then you do know her. You've been to Shah's temple. To the Shadowfell. You've looked upon the Night Song's face. Tell me. And choose your next words carefully. I should be saying that to you. Where is she now? <laughs> I can convince him that she's dead. I don't know if that would work though, because she's immortal, right? She was trapped by Catherick Thorm. Ooh. I could just legit- I don't know if this would work though. I'm afraid the Mighty Night Song was no match for my magic. She's dead. Alright, and we're gonna add a bonus. Help me out, Shadowheart. <laughs> dead? Oh, he's an I'm idiot! Vain. Okay, perfect. She... it... is immortal! A god! Yeah, she's not. She was a saloon knight held by Sharon's. Her death was inevitable. Is that meant to be some consolation? She... it... Oh, you wanna pull the same crap Catherine did! How can this be? Oh, oh hell no, be? sir. I will fight you right now. That's it? Hey, at least I convinced him that she's not like... Okay, he's got too many elementals hanging around. That's not good. Mother's milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What troubles you? A wizard called Larokan is looking for you. Is he indeed? Pray tell, what does he seek from Dame Aelin? The same thing Catherick was using you for? He put out a bounty for your capture and now there's a violent mercenary looking for you. Let them come and let them find me. <laughs> Dame Aelin will strike down any who seek to bring I'm not her saying to she harm, can't defend so... herself or anything because it's obviously Yet. fine. But it is better to cut off the head of the snake. Yeah, I don't like that they're looking for you to begin with. Swarm us unabated. This wizard, this wizard, must be held to account. I will wring his neck until he's dead. Do you want to come with me? I know where he lives. <laughs> I deceived him into thinking you're dead. <laughs> the weasel out weaseled. Well done, my friend. Thanks. I'm glad you're impressed. But Dame Aelin's deeds are great. Her presence, present. Sooner or later, he will discover that the daughter of Saluna lives. Right. Let us travel to his chambers, his lair. We will see him undone in the style of the dead, unburied Ketherick Thorm. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come with I'm us. I'm with you. <gasps> I'd like to get a few licks in myself. Yes, My please darling, come with us. You'd scout for the nearest Salunite enclave this very night. Let us divide our efforts, all the sooner to be reunited. Oh, I won't let you go alone. Who knows what this wizard might have planned? Yeah, we don't know. And looking like in his me. office, he's got Won't a lot of elementals you? around. It will be a swift and fruitful chore. Hi, we to this Laroican right away. Yes, I am as eager to meet him as maybe he we can get to into the library me. faster too, because like he'll not be in the way. <laughs> She's coming with us. This is great. Aelin left to face that wizard. Uh, Laroican, was it? Even after all she's been through, she thinks herself unstoppable. Yeah, there's Invincible. still a chance that something could happen. I, I understand. To me. I understand. I'll keep her safe, though. Gosh, I'm gonna be honest, though. Like, I know she's a powerful goddess, and, like, she's helped us a lot, but, like, you- she's been captured before, right? It, it can happen again. You're right, her temper will get the better of her. That's my greatest fear. I wanted to help her, but she said she fights better when she knows I'm safe. I understand. I suppose. I feel the same about her. Yeah, of course. I'm going to help her in the fight against Laroakin. I'll rest a little easier if you do. You fought well against my father. I imagine a rat like Laroakin will be nothing in comparison. Where's Roland? Hello? Welcome, dear Paige. I am an unperson to yeah, yeah, I get it. Wares. If you are a city official here to collect dues, say taxes. For all other inquiries, say other. Other. To learn more about this is the like, <laughs> the night song, like you're talking to customer service. <laughs> to learn more about Master Laroakin. Where's Roland? That's what I care about. Shut up. I don't want to care about, about you right now. Good night the song. night song is a relic. 
hidden in an under master Lerone yeah okay get it is Great. offering a considerable sum for the object's retrieval taxes you are not mr marvin hud the collections officer assigned to this establishment damn could have taken money from oh wait i can't take money from him <laughs> don't you recognize marvin hud when you see him <laughs> i will take his money i don't care <laughs> no what? No, roll again. I'm taking this guy's damn money. Forgive this error in my analysis. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Marvin Hud. Please find your payment in full. Thanks. Until next we meet. Is there anything else I can help you with? <laughs> no, that's all I needed before I kill this guy. All right. Um, see ya. Let's go back in here. Is Alien here? What have we here? Oh. A magician in a tower. Hiding away from the and and she's glitching, world. guys. <laughs> what are you so scared of, Magus? Not the night song, Magus? surely. Why she's nothing but a relic to be purchased and pursued. My oh, God. Oh, Roland. The night song is a person. Uh, by my honor, it's you. My dear, I thought you were. You will address me with due deference. I am Dame Aelin. That's right. And you are a whelp without honor, without pride, with nothing but a tower full of trinkets. Uh, my apologies, Dame Aelin. I meant. You no can tell this guy is such a liar by the way he Perhaps talks. We could start over. I am the Rowican. I am most pleased to make your acquaintance. And that of your fine companion, who perhaps heard I was looking for you. You offered a huge sum to whoever brings you the night song. Explain why. <laughs> Dame Aelin, I have discovered a device that would allow your immortality to be shared. No. It would cause you no harm, no pain of any kind. You serve your mother, Saluna, I believe. She who has... Blessed our realm with so many gifts. That doesn't give you an excuse to like use her. Honor her by sharing yours. You do not seek to share my gifts. You seek to poach them. Right. You dare to threaten me with the same magic that held me in torment. A again, for her years. her anger I, I get, uh, but like I had I'm kind of nervous that she's going to like better nature. give an opening to Perhaps this guy. I overestimated you. Hmm. No bother. I no, please don't make me kill Roland. Capable of convincing you to see reason. They say madness and genius are separated by but a hair's breadth. Perhaps the same is true of madness and stupidity. Oh, I agree, girl. A um, man named Kethic Thorm already tried stealing Night Song's immortality. He's dead now. But his magic lives. <sighs> I'd hoped you to keep an open mind, but it seems you're determined to make this as difficult as possible. Master, gonna... let us show these no! amateurs the price no, they Roland, no! challenging real wizards. I did not I save this man's ass you, in Act 2 for him to die me. here. And if you will not go quietly, then you I gotta knock his ass. I think I have to knock Roland's ass screaming. out. Screaming. <laughs> Magicians and their plans for Dame Aelin. Predictable, sadistic, flaccid. Mamadons! Imperatum! Oh my god, dude. Son of a bitch. Shit. Oh! Fuck. Okay. Oh, God. How do I get Roland out of here? Is there a way I can just jump over your dumbass? I'm gonna take a hit, but it's okay. I, I just need to get to Roland. Okay. Passive. Can I not not knock his ass out? Is that not a thing that I can do? Oh my gosh. Shit. 
shit, this is so bad. This alien doesn't know them. I, I need to find a different strategy for this. Again, this might be a battle where I have to restart them. Damn, dude! Oh my god! Okay. This is not good. This is so bad. We're too close. Your air, right? Maybe if I kill him, some of his stuff will like go away. I don't know. If that's how that works. So I'm gonna try. <gasps> oh! Death's close at hand. Did it not work? I tried to do counter spell. This bastard, he's gonna kill me. Let me restart this fight. Hang on, let me reload. There's something I have to do. There's n this is not right, cause like, there has to be a way I can- Cause uh, once I attack him, he does a powerful spell and then counterspelled me, and then I'm almost dead. There has to be a way I can do something. What's down there? You think I could get down there and try to get one of his weapons? I don't know if that would work, but I could try. Counter. <laughs> Failed. I can't get the counter spell right on this guy. I'm, I'm sacrificing Carl like I'm taking swipes at this idiot. I don't care. Oh my god. I don't know if this will work, but... It does work. Okay, it does work. Man, sorry, sorry to this guy, but listen, he's gotta be taken out too, right? Oh my gosh! He just shoved a starion. Where is he? I'll strike you down. Fuck you. It's done. I I can't do this. He's gotta he's gotta deal with that. I don't care. I do not care anymore. <laughs> like, get fucked. What the? My character is stupid as. F That's all I have to say. I'm trying to get to car like you. Like I've been trying to use this on her and I can't because everybody's in the way. Oh my god! I'm gonna knock uh, Shadowheart at the same time. I don't want to do that. God. Take two. I just keep healing all of us because like there's nothing I can do at the moment. I can't even catch my breath. Do I not have- I don't even have a- do I have a revive squirrel? I thought I did. Yes! Can I use it, please? Carlac! Target- see, that's what I keep saying! Target is blocked! Why? Bring her back, damn it! I need to move away. Somebody needs to be able to, like, do projectiles from up here. Do 
dude, this is like the hardest fight and I don't know why. Why is it so difficult? I need to get rid of this thing. Not again, girl! I just revived you! Oh my god. Take you. Take you. This is so bad. Sometimes the only way out is through. Yeah, well, who's this one, right? Come on, you bastard. Aileen, please. You know this would this would not be happening if this girl like kept her temper in check. This this oh my god, this is so I hate this. I need to get car like up. doesn't work on you fucking guys. The poison doesn't work either. I need healing. Is, wait, is there a way I can like use the scroll on Karlik from up here? Is that a possibility? Oh my god, I did it! That was going. horrible! I didn't even get to talk to the stupid Laroco, whatever the f his name is. Oh my god. The firehead fool is dead. Yet as I stare upon his corpse, I feel sadness. Why? Probably because everybody's gonna take advantage of you. I don't know. What kind of sadness is it? A gripping in the chest. As though I'd lost someone. Something. Uh, uh, Paladin's fatigue, no doubt. You were excellent in battle. <laughs> Girl, you, you guys have no idea and how many times I restarted this fight. <laughs> I will catch my breath, then to camp I will bring my bones. Moon Maiden be with you. God damn! And I killed Roland, and I didn't want to. There's Laroakin, disintegrated. Hope seems willing to speak. But not to its killer. See, I'm confused. So was he his a memory erased? Does you know, Weezy, he didn't recognize me even though I killed Laroakin, he was still attacking me. Yep, guys, my new outfit. At the cost of this fool. I really can't believe this. Okay, so another thing is like there's a, multiple floors in here, and I wonder if I can just like jump down. Well, what do we have here? What the hell? There's a whole outside to this place too. This guy's a lot of sh Ah, uh, ally mine. We are reunited once more. You okay? I was just regaling sweet Isabel with tales that of her <laughs> Very impressive. I didn't Thank even get to talk to the fool. I, I wonder what he was gonna say if I didn't disintegrate dastardly. his body. Hopefully he'll be the last. There are always more bastards behind bastards. But we will run through them all. Girl, you need to control your anger though. Like Enjoy the spoils of your victory. I love Aileen, but it's Spend true. She needs to like strategize better. Mind, like silk floss. My darling, we must inform our friend of our news. What? Indeed. I've scouted a Salunite enclave outside the city. They faced the Absolute's armies and come out battered and bruised. Aelin and I will go to them, provide what help we can. But fear not. When the time comes for you to face the foe of foes, Oh, they're leaving our camp. Isabel and I will stand by That's your okay. side. That's okay, yeah, as long as you, you, we you help. We wouldn't miss it. Not for anything. Go well, friend. We will see you soon. And with our great powers combined, this city will be saved.
I expected Nightsong to be overjoyed after killing her fair-haired fool. Instead, she just seemed tired. Yeah, yeah, you think, you think he's kind of reminiscing. He is, because he's like wondering what will happen once he kills Kazudo. Will he not be satisfied? And honestly, once Astarian does kill him, I don't think he'll be like happy about it because usually revenge i always say this but you know arthur morgan red dead redemption 2 revenge is a fool's game you may get what you want in the moment but afterwards it's like you it doesn't heal what has been done to you why do you feel the same way when you kill kazador <coughs> hardly it's going to be the greatest moment of my life yeah you're in denial honey i know you think screaming he thinks the same thing <sighs> just thinking about it makes me smile no, I think I think he's he's doubting it. Dame Aelin has little to feel sorry about. The Rowakun would have inflicted a far worse fate on her given the chance. Yeah. Kind of sad I didn't get to talk to the guy though. I don't get it. What's got Dame Aelin so down? I for one am delighted the Rowakun got what was coming to him. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm glad he got he got what he got, but at the same time, like I said, I don't think revenge is the answer to anything. Perhaps revenge isn't as sweet as it seems. Believe me, I plan to revel. Yeah, she's in the same situation as Asterion too. Gortash. Hopefully, Dame Aelin will be back to herself by then, so she can congratulate me on a Murthara well broken. That's the thing. When Also, when we kill Gortash, I don't think... She'll feel the same way either. I don't know. I'm just getting a sense of these two because again, Asarian and Karlik are so similar. Leave Aelin to her sorrow. Likely the wizard only reminds her of all the other fools past and present who have sought to use her. Yeah, it's probably tiring. Oh, what's happening? You are enveloped. Oh my god, I forgot. I forgot I told Mizora I'd once. sleep with her. <laughs> Desire and icy despair, the strength of <laughs> Wait, iron. in front of everybody? The Excuse me! Mist. <laughs> the nine hells of Beartor. The ultimate torment, some souls would say. Oh my god. <laughs> Those souls lack imagination. <laughs> Uh, this is for science, everybody. It's for science. We're gonna bask in the powerful sensation of the rising from the circle. I'm going to show you the true wages of your sin. Oh, oh damn. Okay. Pure lust courses through your veins and plucks at your flesh. You don't know what you want. Only that you want it. Oh, God. You feel it. Don't you? Primal hunger, irrepressible decadence. Uh huh, uh huh. Forget the heavens. This is. She's paradise. like a succubus, which is Let why she looks me very hot. Show you. You know what? I'm I'm fully committed for science. I'm ready. Bring the pleasure of the hells. <laughs> engulfs you. Your oh my god! Oh sh hot. damn! Okay. Do you feel it, Avernus? Where hell's legions march, screaming their rage. Will is gonna hate me for this. Where the Styx collects the blood of the fallen. Oh no. Reach out. Have a taste. Okay, we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna. We're going to uh, the commit. The flavor is exquisite as spiced wine, terrible as rotting offal. It does not quench your lust. It only stokes it. Don't worry, pet. I won't leave till you're fully satisfied. <laughs> okay! <laughs> this, the blackened Elysium. Minaros, the rotting bog. The molten seas and soil of Thlegathos. Uh huh. Stygia, the frozen ocean. Are you. Asking Choose where I want to go? Hell. Have your fill. Okay, I'm going to pick. Um, honestly, this kind of sounds interesting. So <laughs> none of the above. This is horrific. The barren wastes of this suffering. It rises oh. from the fell ichor of the vast plains of this, 
The pain of the damned is your pleasure. Your soul cries for more, more, more. Damn. To think how you starved yourself up to this moment. <laughs> to think how you chose the sweet over the bitter. One last choice. And starve no longer. Um. Malbolgia. The desolation. The forgotten ruins of Maladomini. Okay. Cania and its mountains of ice. Uh huh. Or Nessus, the seat of infernal. You guys know we gotta go for Nessus. We're going for Nessus. Nessus, where hell's overlord reigns supreme. You are flush with untold power. Listen, if I'm, not, if I'm gonna sleep with the demon, we might as well go all the gods to their knees. <laughs> This is the ultimate you, the commander of the planes, the director of fate. It's interesting because it kind of like mirrors of like what could happen. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> ma'am. Okay. Hey, what's up? Azura? Take me and know the I was trying to say kind of mirrors of what could happen to Tav if you like embrace the tadpole and stuff. This is very gay. I love it. Okay, boobs first. Yep, that's that's right. <laughs> we're doing this. All right, we're doing this. Black and red, agony and flame, Avernus and Dis united. They feed you. They sustain you. Mizora's lips meet yours, and Nessa's right. Damn, we're just doing it in the air? In torrid struggle, each fighting to conquer the other. Yes, in a wink, you are reformed. A devil in spirit. I feel like she just took body. all the pleasure and was like, I'm done with you. And didn't let me finish. Girl, are you serious? The body, the mind, she didn't let me finish! <laughs> Girl, you did. Can you, you could have at least done that, but then again, she's a devil, right? The pleasure of torment. The torment of pleasure. You're forever marked. What does that mean? You feel it. Where my lips. Oh, like the the feeling skin. of like. How your what was going on, but I never finish it. Finishes your right. Flood with heat and frigid water. Oh my your God, you're horrible. Searches for the right response. I'm gonna be honest. I feel it, but I'm not sure I like it. You may not like it, but you'll crave it in spite of yourself. A pity for you. The one taste is all I'll give. Well, I hope I'm not interrupting. <laughs> Astarian. What a pleasant surprise. I must have drawn more blood than I intended. Wait, is he mad at me, sir? Don't be mad. <laughs> what is <laughs> Who would I be to meddle in personal affairs? Oh, no! <laughs> is she... She really just stayed at camp so that she could sleep with me? Is that what happened? Hang on. Is Asterion mad at me? Because it kind of looks like he wasn't? Wait. Hello? We're back out here. Gods, you're beautiful. Babe, do you have, like, no comments for this? I gotta talk to Will later. He's probably gonna kick my ass, honestly. Okay, I want to get into these rooms. Since Asterion can make himself invisible now. Invisibility. It's in here. Oh, this is probably where we can get the books, One right? Step at a time. Okay, so this is Starian's our rogue. He can go get it for us. I think. It's just a note. Basement. So they're in the basement. Okay, got you. 
Anything else we can take? Ooh, <gasps> a key to the basement. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. Roland's. Oh, this is Roland's room. All has happened to my plan. That was too rough, too rough. But we are exactly where we're meant to be. Where I meant to be. Master Lorokin is the bar guide of the hypocrite, but he has what I need. Resources, knowledge, the ability to become who I truly am. Cal and Leah roll their eyes, but at least anyone can deny my potential. They know what I would become. Only if I endure a little longer. Wait! Did my game glitch again? Because again, Cal died. But the funny thing is, if you guys watched the previous episodes, he died inside the Illithid, like, underground. Even though I saw him escape. So I think my game glitched because like he's supposed to be dead and then it looks like he doesn't even remember me even though he should but I, I, again I don't know if it was because of Larokin who hypnotized him or something you know but it should have been like if I killed Larokin his spell should have waned off but it didn't he still fought us. Okay so I went back to camp and um <laughs> You catch a faint odor one without any discernible source Wet ash, dried mud, and a hint of sulfur. Mizora channeled the hell's essence into you. You'll never be rid of their scent. Oh. I hope. I pray that you'll show more care in the future. <laughs> um, okay. So wait, is there like a permanent effect to me sleeping with Mizora? Or is it just like the fact that Will's probably pissed at me now? Anyway, I managed to get everybody finally in here and um, unlocked a portal. All right, let's go. Whoa. Wait. Are we supposed to be floating on the, on the top like this? Unlock the ancient tome. I'm surprised Gale hasn't like nutted yet or anything. <laughs> And I'm like, that looks like a freaking door. Okay, hang on. Storage and sorting of scroll work, parchment, and tomes. But then there's a door here. Oh god, it's saving. Why? Wait, I think that's the place I'm meant to go. So what's here? Whoa, hello. Lock picket. What is that? I need to know. Red Knight final straight gem? What? No time to Before our time the Exorcist of Tempest, the goddess of strategy, the Red Knight was a paladin most devout. She toured armies the worlds over, both student and teacher, and thus she elevated by Tempest to her current status. These pages contain the which was left on a material plane after her ascension. Quite some valuable knowledge hidden between these pages. Whoa. No entry to vaults. Trespassers will be disintegrated. Master Laroican. Like, literally, or is there a trap waiting Simple. for us? Well, All right, let's hope we don't get disintegrated. Not as bad as it could have. Wait, I thought we got a key, no? Well, in it. Okay, this looks like it might be trapped. I don't see anything, though. Carsis, silver hand. Elminster. <gasps> Beware. This place is trapped. Yeah, I figured I figured as much. That's what they mean by a disintegration, right? That's probably what they meant. Okay. Can we look at Elminster? Hey. Now. Astarian, can you disarm this honey? Oh, we can't get in there? Im lock picking impossible. Lock picking impossible? Then well, what do we do? Oh, what just happened? To trigger that thing. Whoa. Oh, okay, so it is kind of like... Oh, it's a test. God, please don't step on the trap. I'm gonna be really pissed off. Someone there. Make them ah, jump for safety. Choice. What's next, I wonder? Never a dull moment. <laughs> what? I stepped on it? Are you freaking kidding me right now? Better be careful not to trigger that thing. Oh, I'm I'm on this now. This is the only one we can open. Oh, Let's fuck. see. Get. Go in here. Go in there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is hardly the time for 
trying to banter? Bro, yeah, I'm not trying to talk to you. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Can I destroy this thing? Let's get this over with. I stepped on it by accident. Now now we're stuck here. You know what? Astarian, can you please disarm this damn thing? Oh my god, dude. Interesting. Okay, um, to Carsus. Unlock hereby the path to the Carsus vault. This lever? What's going on? What? Do we have to go back? Is that what that means? What? Elminster. <gasps> it did open. I want to open Elminster's room. Another step forward. This is so confusing. Are we in? The annals of Carsus. The preamble to a civilization's downfall, committed to parchment by the very hand that wrought its destruction. If the crown atop the Elder Brain was truly forged by Carsus himself, this book will confirm it. All we have to do is turn the page. I trust Scale, so take it. That devil Raphael was telling the truth. There's no doubt. The crown of Carsus is what's controlling the Elder Brain. And this, this is no mere journal. It contains Carsus's original plans for the crown's construction. Oh. His designs for godhood. The design for self-destruction, more like. Didn't this crown kill Carsus? Not exactly. It was what he did with it that sealed his fate. And for a time, that of magic itself. The crown was merely the means. The book states that the crown and netherstones were originally one construct, seemingly sundered at the moment of Carsus's downfall. Hmm. If we can collect the crown setting and the three netherstones, and with the correct invocation of certain spells and gestures detailed in these notes, I think I could reforge it. Wait, you... What? Hang on, but like... Wouldn't that just make it more dangerous? I kind of agree with that. The crowns cause chaos. We should be seeking a way to destroy it, not making it more powerful. Do not mistake the crown itself for the actions of its wearer, or rather, those controlling its wearer at present. What do you What do you mean? If we could restore its former glory, it would no longer be a mere leash and collar used to subjugate friend or foe. It would be something greater, something divine. Just think of it. The power of the gods in Gale, no! Is this man for doctrine real? Doctrine and dogma confined only by the limits of our imagination. No, 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 I no, no, Gale, you, no. The gods will never grant us such a blessing, no matter how much we worship and adore them. And do you think Mistra will let you do this? I don't know. Ao does not look kindly on gods meddling in mortal affairs. She may have no choice but to stand by. And let events unfold. Even with the fate of the world at stake, she had little more to offer me than the means of blowing myself up at a more convenient time. Wait, are you? She's I think he's just mad. To help us. Uh, yeah, he's mad at his ex-girlfriend. Mistra wanted the brain obliterated because of this crown. She fears a world in which such power is beyond her control, ready to be claimed by Carsus's successor. Gale, this ain't you, dude. Are you joking? So you want the crown to settle a score with Mistra? She sent me to die. Ambition is not a sin. The question the powers that rule us is not treason. We must at least try. Why wallow in the dirt where we can reach for the stars? Oh my god, honey, this ain't it. Again, everybody's out for a revenge battle, like all the characters. Gale, dude, this is not a way to get to your ex-girlfriend. Like, honestly, it's not. And you guys are telling me, like, wizards are more different than sorcerers. The sorcerers are, like, born with magic, right? My character's born with magic. Gale learned it. And it kind of... 
makes sense why he's like low-key power hungry too because he wants to learn everything he can. But this is not the way! Gale, I'm urging you to drop this. The crown cannot be reforged. I see. I suppose I am asking you to take a leap of faith, even the most Don't loyal say you of disapprove! I will man. keep you at camp! Spent so long feeling... inferior. Shut out from my destiny over such a simple act of youthful enthusiasm. Perhaps I got carried away with the thought this crown could give me back what Mistra took. Cure me. Even. Babe, we can find a different way. You don't gotta do it like this. Don't give up yet. There will be an answer. It just isn't the crown. Very well, then. I will try my utmost to share This man doesn't optimism. believe me, but for real, this is for your own good, hope, sir. After all, whatever comes of this, we cannot allow the crown to be reforged in Raphael's image. A devil wielding the might of Cassus. It would be the end of everything. Exactly. Let's stick to that instead of trying to like... Oh my god, Gail, you're stressing me out. Let me get the F out of here. All right, I'm cheating. I'm going to look this up. I'm going to get through this door. I need to know. I got the door open. Cost me some health, but whatever. <laughs> I just need to know what's in here. Elminster's vault. Why is the flipping ground shaking? What's happening? Necromancy of Thay? Oh. Wait, what what's happening to me? Am I cursed? What? I'm cursed now? Oh, okay. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. I know not a lot has happened. And I spent way too long on that boss fight. But at least we kind of closed out Night Song's storyline. At least for now. We'll see her again later when we deal with the Elder Brain and stuff. Hey, I also slept with Mizora and I don't think Astarian cares. <laughs> I'm not really sure what was that. But hey, it was for science. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Baldur's Gate 3, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you guys know when I upload the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!